Look, here's a story you don't get anywhere else, uh, but we have been following it and we're going to keep coming back to it because we think it's an important story in terms of character. Um, and this is regards James Shaw, who seems to, by the Green Party, have been put in a box for this election. I, do, I think they probably only roll James Shaw out as co-leader when they're trying to get some money off someone with half an inkling of sense. Other than that, uh, that mad woman, Marima, all cis males, white cis males create all violence. I've been hit by a motorcycle. Davidson seems to be fronting the Greens largely. Um, James Shaw has disappeared. And he still hasn't answered, having admitted he didn't have a BA from, from Victoria University and having corrected his LinkedIn page, he is still basically blocking any attempt to clarify that he applied for his Master of Science at Bath University in a legitimate way and did not represent in that application that he had a BA. The person pushing the story and answer, asking what I think is a reasonable question is investigative journalist Ian Wishart. He joins us again now. Ian, it's been another week. Any progress on this? Any indication that the Green leader is going to come clean? Apart from his disappearance in public uh, events or downgrading his appearances in public events, I haven't seen much of James Shaw this last week. Uh, no, he has not answered. He hasn't responded, but he has certainly taken the heat. You cannot look at the Green social media feed on, uh, on X or anywhere else without seeing people referring well, those testing. people might be trolls, Ian. They could be, but the point about it is, is that the, the percentage of social media feed that's taken up by these uh, questions is, is, is huge. Yeah, OK. Mainst still no mainstream media asking about this? No, we had a uh, newsroom publish a, a, a puff piece with the two Greens co-leaders uh, yesterday, and uh, not one question was asked about it by Mark Golder, so um, I had newsroom on about that yesterday. It's just... The, the thing that annoys me, I think, about it is not that um, the story needs the mainstream media because the social media reach is, is, is impressive, but the point is that the mainstream media have access to these people on a daily basis and they're not holding them to account, and that's the biggest tragedy of the story. Yeah, uh, it would be so easy for him to clear up. He just needs to issue, what, a privacy waiver? And yeah, Bath privacy University waiver. have said they would be happy to disclose the criteria under which he was selected, right? That's right. They have said that with the privacy waiver, they will disclose the information. So the only thing holding back fact-checking James Shaw's uh, Master of Science degree is James Shaw's refusal to give a privacy waiver to allow that to happen. Which I'm sorry, Ian, uh, uh, kind of creates the impression in my mind that he might have fibbed to the university. Uh, this is the danger for James Shaw. You know, we don't know what the answer to the question is, but it does create the inference in the, in the public mind that there is something to hide and that, where there's smoke, there's fire, and the only person who can put this fire out is James Shaw, and he's not doing it. Yeah. Hey, um, look, some more weather this week, and I know because you have pursued and investigated this and done some excellent work looking at claims that things like Cyclone Gabriel were caused by climate change, a really interesting admission from NIWA in the last few days, Ian, that it isn't man-made climate change that is causing the bad weather. Yeah, this is an important admission from NIWA, and I think they might have taken some, some lessons in the last few months. The uh, NIWA scientist, Tristan Myers, told uh, Stuff, again, a, uh, a media outlet not known for its uh, balance on climate change, yeah. uh, told Stuff that it was uh, a bad thing to link every, every single climate event to uh, to climate change, that uh, these things were generally weather, and certainly the, the range of events of the last week are part of the weather system and naturally occurring. And interestingly enough, there's a story just breaking in the Washington Post as well that's uh, making a similar sort of point with El Nino, that um, El Nino has come along and sometimes they're very large and sometimes they have huge impacts on weather with extremes of droughts, floods, heat waves, etc., uh, and that uh, these things, that, that scientists still have not been able to link uh, El Nino events to climate change. Yeah. So it's important revelations coming out in the media, I think, about climate change. We just have to keep on holding them to the to, to account on this. Yeah. Um, oh, good Lord, you'd think it was the end of the world, literally. Um, Ian, thank you very much for keeping up the pressure on this issue. It is so easily cleared up. Um, it is, and, and, and the reality is that unless James Shaw clears it up, this is going to continue to haunt him throughout the election campaign. Yep, yep, I get you. Uh, thank you very much indeed for your time this morning, Ian. Uh, that is Ian Wishar, and we are going to keep banging on that story because no one is, and it is kind of important. Leader of a major political party lies about his academic record. That is big. So why not clear it up, James Shaw? Hey, and you're welcome on here any time, James, as is anyone from the Green Party. Um, 
But you don't come. So there we go.